Hey guys, this is a, uh, a demo of an uh, 8-bit computer I built. Uh, it's based off of the work done by Ben Eater. Um, he's got an awesome series of videos that kind of detail how to build this thing from the ground up. Uh, a couple differences on mine. Um, uh, ben used uh, three ROM chips for the, uh, the control matrix and I, I cut it down to two so I eliminated one of those. Um, some other differences, I think the wiring is a little different. Um, uh, the clock module is a little different. I used a uh, two to one selector rather than using the AND gates and stuff for the uh, selecting between which, uh, which clock pulse to use, whether the manual or the automatic. Um, the speed is variable. You can slow it down, speed it up. Uh, so it's kind of running at about a medium speed right now. Uh, does go a lot faster. Uh, right now the, the program it's running is uh, calculating the Fibonacci sequence. It's about the most complex program you can run on this. Uh, the computer only has 16 bytes of memory so there's not like a whole lot of room on there for uh, program. Uh, but uh, this program does fit in 16 bytes, just exactly 16 bytes. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, taken me about six months to build. Um, a lot of a uh, lot of time spent cutting wires and measuring and bending and testing stuff and having it not work and trying to figure out why it's not working. Uh, but uh, I finally, uh, I'd say it's about ninety-eight percent done. Uh, one, one thing I do want to add is I'll connect all the uh, the reset lines so I can reset the whole computer at once uh, with a push of a button. That will be kind of nice. Uh, right now it's kind of manually go around to each component and uh, reset those. So I'd really like to do that just uh, with a, a button press. be a lot faster, a little more efficient. Um, but yeah, there you go. Uh, pretty happy with it and it was uh, definitely fun to build. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks.